I have had a lot of requests for a lot of different things in the past, so I was thinking, why not make a whole series based on this mod? In this episode, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to install this mod. So I've got a fresh version of Minecraft running. Once you have the launcher open, you go into your installations and you have the latest snapshot here. You want to go in the 1.12.2. You can put your game directory somewhere, it doesn't matter, your resolution, you can set it. But I like to go in my, as soon as I create a new installation, I always go and set it up to 4 gigabytes of RAM just so that I don't have those lag spikes later on in the game. But only do this if you have enough uh, RAM on your PC so you know what you're doing. Uh, if you have 4 gig of 6 gig of RAM, don't set it at 4. But if you have 6 gig of RAM, at least set it. Uh, 2 gig is absolutely fine. But with all the recent optimizations of the game, I don't think this is necessary, but it's an old habit that I've kept, especially for the older versions of the game. So. I'm just going to create my installation right here. Now I'm going to launch this uh, first without any mods, just so that it creates the um, the files. So as you can see, it's going to download the um, the files, and I'll be right. I'll be back to you when it's finished. Once Minecraft is launched and you have all your files, you want to close close Minecraft and go ahead and. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and install the Light Loader Installer, the Macro Mod, and the Forge Installer. So I will put the links down below for the Forge Installer, so I'll be showing uh, where that is on the screen. The Macro Mods download, for, or the download for the Macro Mod, that will be linked down in the description below. And also linked down in the description below will be the light loader uh, installer. So once you've got those three installed, open up the forge installer on the right hand side, run that, and it will go ahead and install uh, forge. You will get a little um, little window that pops up and you want to install the client. Click OK and it will download. Wait for the download to finish. Install Forge, the Forge client. Alright, so Forge will add the um, client to the um, to the .minecraft folder. Then you want to go ahead and run, f run the launcher. There we go with the forge so that you're generating files. Alright, so once you've launched forge you should have a mods folder. So now all you want to do is open the light loader installer and run that. Alright, so now that you have light loader opened up, you want to go in here and select the forge profile that you've just downloaded. You want to expand from this profile, 1.12.2 Forge, and go ahead and verify the information and click OK. So now when you're in the Minecraft launcher, you should have this here. If you don't, go inside your installations and make sure it is in there. So you should have Forge and Light Loader with Forge. So you want to go ahead and just play with that game. Let it load, let it create the files. Move over to your files and you should have a light config folder. Now all you need to do is drag and drop your macro mod mod into the uh, into your mods folder. So light mods 1.12 and move your mod into there. Next time you wanna up you wanna load up light load you wanna load up Minecraft again. So get the Minecraft launcher. So make sure your mod and version a match and then go ahead go over and launch your minecraft game
Alright, you will know that you have successfully downloaded your game when the macro keybind mod uh, window appears over here. So now that the mod is installed, I will go ahead in the next episode cover the basics.